shortest distance question 1 consider the point p 5 comma 4 what is its shortest distance from y axis calculate its distance from origin okay now it's a very interesting problem so if you sketch it it becomes absolutely clear let's try to sketch it I x and y axis since all are positive I'm just drawing the first quadrant here the point given to us is 5 4 so let's say let's say we have a point here which is 5 4 let's call this point P which is 5 4 okay now what is the shortest distance from y axis you know this is y axis the shortest distance will be perpendicular to y axis correct like this so this distance is the shortest distance from y axis correct so how much is this distance if you see the coordinates then you know the answer correct this is 5 units from here and 4 units from there correct so the shortest distance is 5 do you see that 5 is the shortest distance from y axis. Similarly, I could have asked what is the shortest distance from x axis? So it'd be the value y. Do you see that? How much away it is from x axis? Correct? So it translates 4 unit up. So it is 4 units away from x axis and 5 units away from y axis. Correct? This is your x axis and that is your y axis. That is part A. Correct? Now let's do part B. B says calculate distance from origin, right? Now it is not the shortest, I mean, that word doesn't have any meaning here. So you have to join origin with this point. So this makes a kind of a right angle triangle. Do you see? We'll join these lines. So when you drop a perpendicular from the point P to X axis, it forms a right triangle, correct? with 90 degrees with the x-axis. Now the distance from origin to the point P is 5 square plus 4 square square root. Do you understand? That is what it is. And if you use the distance formula, right? Let me show you with the distance formula D. D distance formula is x minus x1 square plus y minus y1 square square root right now you could have written x2 minus x1 y2 minus y1 same thing basically it is difference of x values of the given two points square of that which gives you one side of a right triangle and the other thing is difference of y values do you see that which gives you the other side, the opposite side of the right triangle. And using Pythagorean theorem, we find the answer, correct? A square plus B square is C square. So that is what we're trying to do, right? And we want C, not C square, so we square root it. So general formula is distance is difference of X coordinate, square of that, plus square of difference of Y coordinates, correct? So I'm taking this opportunity to make you understand the formula also with such a simple example, right? So now I will do square root of my point x is values 5, y value is 0, 0. Do you see? Origin. Plus 4 minus 0 square. So which gives you square root of 25 plus 16 okay and then you can add them up 6 plus 5 11 and then we have 41 correct at times you'll find in the question that the answer says provide exact answer so this square root 41 is the exact answer if they say write your answer to two decimal places then you need to do square root of 41 okay and then you say square root of 41 equals to 6.4031. So this is only if 
zero three one and they say round to two decimal places then it means this dot here means approximate two right two decimal places means you will have to write six point four zero two decimal places this is round to tenth I should say hundredth place two decimal places I wanted to write but I am writing hundredth place which means two decimal places and this answer you will give if it says exact answer okay so try to understand these terms as we move on so this is our first example on shortest distance correct so the shortest distance of any point with y axis will be its x coordinate okay so the shortest distance from y axis is 5 units so in general you learn that the shortest distance from y axis will be the x coordinate so if the value is x comma y then it's the x coordinate okay and the shortest distance from the x-axis is the y-coordinate, correct? These things could be asked in multiple choice questions, okay? Have a good look at it. Try to understand as we move on to one of the most interesting examples on shortest distance, question number two. Thank you.